Okay, so we got a package in from uh, Tom Lipton. And I already cracked the top open and it's packed in this uh, high density foam, which I love and it seems to have a never ending supply. And uh, this came down to me for, uh, for, for a quick powder coat. So I just thought I'd shoot a little video on the unpacking. Let me get all this stuff out of here. And I'll probably save that because it, it needs to be shipped back out. And he's got this packed in a very Tom-like fashion. Some of you may recognize that. That's a little uh, Wilton uh, bullet vise, the white one. He's got it bolted down a piece of plywood and uh, shrink wrap. But this thing's uh, this thing's set to go to powder coat now. Um, what we're gonna do is get a good look at it first. Oh, this thing is sweet. It doesn't ever look like it's been used. Literally. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna break it down and uh, send it over to bead blast and powder coat and just kind of freshen it up. It's got a few spots just where it's been handled and kind of chugged around a little bit. It's got a real thin layer of white paint on it, not really good. Um, but we're gonna uh, send it over for a light bead blast and, and give it a quick uh, a quick powder coat. But uh, while we're over there, we'll take a look, take a peek around that guy's shop. But uh, let's get this broken down and uh, ready to go over there. I was gonna go ahead and show you those vice jaws. How clean they are, they still got the grind marks on them where they were ground. The knurling on them, the face knurling is just sharp and pristine. So um, I would guess this is some kind of new old stock. So brand new uh, uh, Wilton Bullet, very nice. Okay, so we've got it all apart. And uh, the rear cap was held on with a couple of pins. There's a couple of very small uh, pins with some knurls or some flat knurls or splines on them. So that rear cap uh, came off. Uh, the nut just drops in. It's got a couple of pins there and there to index it. Uh, if you go to Tom Lipton's uh, channel, you can see he's building a, a baby bullet right now. Um, this is kind of a freeze plug looking thing that snaps in the back. So we got that all apart. And the uh, previous owner looked like they sandblasted it. This is full of sand, so it's a good thing we took it apart. It's, it's just got a bunch of gritty stuff in it that never got out of there. Um, the nut here where the uh, lead screw runs in and out was packed with sand in the back. So this thing would have chewed itself up in no time. So it's good that we got it completely disassembled. Uh, you know, before we put it into service. So, um, that's, this is everything going to the powder coat here, here, and there. Everything else stays and gets cleaned. So, uh, pretty simple, not, not too bad. I had to fight those pins a little bit uh, to get them out. And actually, what you have to do is a pin on each side here and here. And in Wilton's infinite wisdom, they gave us clearance holes in the nut here in here so you can knock them in far enough and you have clearance enough to get the cap off so awesome right okay so uh thanks tom for sending that over we'll get it fixed up and uh out the door hey guys thanks. welcome to bar z my name's stan and today we're at concept powder coat justin thanks for meeting me over here and uh, thanks for the quick shop tour this is awesome uh we're here to pick up a, a vice that we dropped off last week and we got a few questions for him and i know the viewers might have a few questions uh, what is powder coat and why, why do we prefer that over conventional paint? Um, a, it, it looks great. B, it uh, ultimate in protection. Ultimate, um, you, yeah. can't, you can't beat it. It's uh, for a ride, I mean, not so much car parts. It's more of a look thing, car parts, but your gates and, and we do uh, inside of interior pipes. Okay. Uh, for gas companies. Oh, okay. Um, it's it's ultra durable. It's, and we've got all the you got all the UV protections and everything we need for oil, oil for, for, for for outdoor. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Now, what's the criteria for having something powder coated? I mean, I, I understand that it has to see an elevated temperature. Uh, the powder gets applied, but, but then where does it go? And what happens? Uh, it goes into an oven. Cooks anywhere from 350 to 425 degrees. Okay. And just depending on what what color it is, they cook at different temperatures, and, and different metals heat up differently. So aluminum, steel, galvanized, stainless steel. So there you have it. You want something powder coated? You're gonna it's gonna need to see some temperature for a for a, a limited amount of time. Uh, so if it contains plastic or anything that can get damaged by heat, that's uh, pretty much a no. Um, Wow, you really do a lot of different parts, a lot of the automotive, motorcycles, right? and like you said, gates, things like that. Right iron gates, pool gates, I mean, anyway. Uh, railings, steel railings. Well, what's your size limitation here? What, what is your shop capable of? Um, 13 by 13 feet, 13 feet wide, 13 feet high by 39 feet long. 39 feet long. Yes, sir. So, wow, that would be like a, a boat trailer yeah. or a race car chassis, or uh, you can really, you're really capable of some big stuff. Yep. Okay, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to this shop tour. Guys, you need to go check out Concept Powder Coat. What's your website? Uh, ConceptPowderCoatingInc.com ConceptPowderCoatingInc.com Go check them out. I've been there. It's a pretty good looking website. Parts that arrive with multiple layers of paint are chemically stripped before they go to sandblasting. Sandblasting provides an even surface finish and a clean substrate for the uh, powder to stick. Um, after, they're, after the parts are sandblasted, uh, they're going to get a, uh, a polish with Scotch-Brite to uh, kind of smooth it out and give that uh, powder a nice slick place to uh, lay down. Here you'll see a motorcycle fork on the left that's been polished and on the right uh, one that just came out of a chemical strip that hasn't uh, been sandblasted yet. So many different powders and numbers and colors yeah. and you keep sheets. a lot. You keep a lot in stock. I know it's yeah. hard to keep track of so many colors. Metallics, non-metallics. Yep. Flat, semi-gloss. Boiled shrimp, fried shrimp. <laughs> so he's got a good supply out here at Concept. But what he doesn't have, he'll make sure to get for you. Get normally within three to five days at the most. There you go. It's out of stock. There you go. This part has been preheated in the oven. Uh, what this does is it allows the powder to be applied um, and, and, and slightly gel so you don't have to worry about the powder getting shaken off or falling off on the way back to the oven. So applying powder on a uh, preheated part is uh, very desirable uh, in a production environment. And here you can see him just dusting it on with a, uh, uh, it's an electrostatic gun. Uh, the powder is uh, positively charged and the part is grounded so the powder actually attracts to the part uh, very evenly and you'll actually see a wrap where the powder wraps around corners and gets into uh, all the crevices and things. Uh, here he's checking for blind spots and any, any spots he missed with a, with a handheld. And the powder's gelling as it's being applied so there's no worry about it shaking off or uh, when it's getting moved around, no worry about the powder falling off. Uh, from here it's going to go back into the oven.
Okay, well we got our vise back from the powder coater and I've already laid out a little bit of cardboard here to work on so I don't scratch things up. But nice finish, looks good. And uh, here's our disassemble, our rear cap and our uh, little freeze plug goodie that go in there. So that's all looking good. So we'll, uh, we're will we gonna get to uh, putting this thing back together. And you know, it, it's, just a, it's just a sandblast finish. We're just gonna scotch bright. Use a scotch bright wheel on some of the, uh, anywhere that was sandblasted and put it together with a little bit of grease. Uh, so it already got blown out after they sandblasted it. But you know, I'll blow out the threads and stuff again. Uh, let me get this thing back together and I'll uh, bring you back for the, uh, for the end result. Okay, well the vise is all back together. Uh, you can see on the end cap, I, uh, the pins that go in there, the, it's like a dowel with a kind of a spline looking, uh, a face spline if you want to call it that. Or just a kind of a straight neural. Anyways, I ran in the, the ends of them over a burnishing wheel and polished the ends up and tapped them in with a plastic hammer. Give the jaws a little bit of polish. They're looking good. Everything else was already pretty new. I cleaned all the, the lead screw and took any powder coating out that I found uh, that was in the way of the mechanism, but it operates very smoothly. So this is on its way back to Tom. From there, it's going out to, uh, uh, to his customer. And I've also got some accessories for this. Um, I got a pack of Hello Kitty stickers. The rainbow kind with the little on the little shimmery tape and then we've got some Barbie and Jasmine and Cinderella stickers for it too so those are gonna go nice with the uh, with the princess vice so that's the end of the Barbie baby bullet vice and uh, we got to take a, a trip over and check out the powder coating shop all right guys thanks for watching